Hi, I'm Matt, and this is just going to be a quick comparison of the Proco Rat and the 1981 Inventions DRV. Um, I've had a Rat for about five years now. This is an excellent pedal. This is one of the, uh, if you're a total nerd about these, you know that the LM308 chip or whatever is the desirable one. This is one of those. Um, so it's a very good, somewhat vintage Proco Rat. Uh, it's awesome, but I had a chance recently to get my hands on the 1981 Inventions DRV, which is a somewhat rat-inspired boutique pedal that Matthew Hoops of Reliant K makes. They're very similar in some ways and very different in others, so I just thought I would do a quick comparison video of these two. It's kind of unofficial, like one-take shootout of some different settings, but anyway, real quick, the guitar I'm using in it is this Fender... JA90 Telecaster, and then the amp that I'm using is an atomic amplifier on a matchless preset, and that's all that's going on here. It's just the guitar into the two pedals into the amplifier. All right, so here's just the clean tone on the bridge pickup. And then I'll start with like the gain rolled all the way off here which you'll notice in the case of the DRV doesn't prevent it from still having some breakup because of the preamp section. So right there, that's a big difference, is that on its lowest gain setting, the 1981 is still adding a fair amount of gain, and the rat's doing almost nothing. So let's crank this up a bit. So far, this is kind of my preferred setting, is at like a quarter of the way up. So at that setting, where it's like directly sideways, they sound very similar. It's like pretty subtle. Um, as, it, as I raise the gain on this, they'll sound much more different from each other.
and then where I really start to notice the differences in these higher gain settings, the DRV kind of turns into a distortion here, and you can like play metal riffs on it and stuff. The rat will totally start to fuzz out and just turn into like a woolly fuzz, but I'll show you. <laughs> So at these sort of higher gain settings, the uh, DRV is a little tighter and you can kind of riff on it. It's not the tightest, there's some fuzz coming through, but uh, the rad is totally fuzzy. Try cranking them all the way. So at these settings, the, uh, the difference is really noticeable to me. The DRV is still not that fu it's a, it's fuzzy a little bit, but you can still hear what I'm playing with clarity. <laughs> And the rat is just totally in chaos mode here. Again, they're they're very different on this side of the dial and much less different on this side. So anyway, if you're interested at all in the DRV, I hope that was helpful. There's still not a lot out there yet as far as sound samples of it you can hear and comparisons, so I thought I would film this one just real quick. I still re I really like the DRV and I really like the Rat for kind of different reasons, so definitely planning on keeping both, but hope that was useful. <laughs>